Hi, I'm Mike DeGriesley and welcome to Cracking CGI. In this short tutorial, we'll be setting up the scene with the reference material that we'll be using in the modelling of our Messerschmitt 109. So, rather than waste any more time, let's get cracking. First, I'm going to set up a new layer. So, up into my Layers Manager, uh, new layer, let's just pull that up over here. And we'll call this Reference Material. Happy with that. Everything's checked. So anything I now create is going to go into the reference material layer. Okie doke. And close that down. And now I need to start bringing my materials into the material editor. So left click on that. I could of course have hit M, which is the uh, hotkey. Now it's brought up the slate material editor. I don't really need to use this one at the moment. So we'll go for the compact material editor there we go a little bit more compact and bijou um, it selected the first swatch automatically that's default so what I need to do is pop down to the diffuse area just to the right this little tab here click on that uh, double click the bitmap and excellent I want to select the A109 front so click on that now that's brought that in let's just open up the swatch yeah there it is but the lighting it if I left it like this it would actually take on the lighting of the set I don't want to do that I want to give it a little bit of self illumination so we're gonna go back up the hierarchy to the parent and self illumination here let's just give it a value of about 70 press return that's better let's close this swatch now I need to give it a name so I'm just gonna move my mice out of the way for a moment this is the front so front and I also want to put in um, the dimensions here of the actual image and I think it was width 1156 and height uh, 384. 384. It's always a good idea to actually put the uh, dimensions of the image in um, if you're using it as reference. So click OK on that one. So that's fine. Well, that's basically the way I need to bring all these images in and I've got another what seven to bring in so what I'll do is I'll catch you in a few moments well I hope you didn't go put the kettle on don't take two minutes this well I've now got all my materials into the material editor so I can now start introducing them into the scene um, I'm going to start off with my front viewport to begin with and what I need to do is on this one we're going to create a plane and this opens up our other menus and I'm looking at parameters no I'll tell you what let's go keyboard entry this is the more direct way so I'm looking at the front let's go click on the front there I can already see the dimensions here now it's got length and it's got width and the width is at the bottom here so what I'm going to do is the width is 1156 but in here what I'm going to do is put in 115.6 press return on that one and the length is well that's the height which is 38.4 so 38.4 press return on that one and now if I say create let's put it in let me just go zoom up to that one thank you as we can see we can't see anything at the moment let's say okay assign that to our selection we still can't see anything 
So let's go to our wireframe. Right click on that, we're going to say smooth and highlights. Well, now it's brought up a blank canvas. So I'm going to pop back to our materials editor. Uh, materials. Show materials in viewport as. Now, if I put it in standard display, yes, I can see it, but um, the quality isn't all that good. So I'm going to just pop down and put it into hardware display with maps. There we go. That's excellent. Uh, let me just go zoom extents all. Then I can see the. Now, um, on our grid here, you can see that our image is actually come out right into the center and my reference points for these is down at the bottom here so I need to adjust um, my pivot so I'm going to pop up to the hierarchy effect pivots so effect pivots only and we've got that what I'm going to do is just press Alt W so I've gone into the full screen here and now if I press Control Alt and my middle mouse key or roller key just going to zoom in there pull that up a bit by pressing the middle mouse key and I'm just moving that down to there centering it up there. Close that down and now if I right click on here I can actually get this to zero out so I'm pressing my mouse in the middle there and just right clicking and it's zeroed it on the X, it's zero on the Y and now I want it zero on the Z great so come back out and as we can see it's moved it now up to that line and to the center of this line great now I can move over to the top so just pull the material editor over a little bit um, select top and what I need to do is that's bottom let's go to top just move that back over there a little bit. Let's go back to our create panel. Um, we're going to create another plane. Keyboard entry. This time, what we'll look, 1156. So we've got the width already, same dimension. It's just the length, 103.5. So 103.5. Press return on that. Oh, that's zero. Say create and center. And let's assign our material to that, which is the top. And again, we have the same situation in our top viewport. But if we look, we can start to see something happening down here in our perspective. So what I need to do is up to wireframe, smooth and highlights, uh, material, go down, show material in viewport as, we'll say, hardware display with maps, good, that looks good there. So up to our hierarchy, we're going to change the pivot on this one also, effect pivot only. Um, we're in that top one already, it's selected, so Alt W, bring it up, um, Control Alt, middle mouse, zoom in, uh, press my middle mouse to pan down, let's take that up there, and what we need to do is just put it on the edge there and make sure it's in the center, just across a little bit. Don't need to mess about too much. Okay, just there I'll do. And close that down. Right click on our select to move 
there and we can zero it on our X so in the middle there and just press the right mouse button zero that zero that that's already zeroed let's um, zoom it stent so pop down close that and as we can see here let's just right click and go alt W bring it up full screen there we can see that this reference material now is actually lined up underneath so let's do the same with the left viewport bring that back down over to our left viewport select that I'll tell you what we'll change this now smooth and highlights okay so I need my left here let's go back over to our create panel we're going to create a plane um, keyboard entry and its width is 1039 so width in this case is 103.9 and our height is 38.4 so 38.4 press return on that one and then say create let's put that there let's apply our material up to material um, show material in viewport hardware display with maps excellent now we need to change our pivot so up to our pivot hierarchy there affect pivot only we're in there so let's just go alt w bring it up full screen middle mouse key to move it over and I just need to bring this down now down there and across here because we need to put this down right in the bottom left hand corner so on that line onto that line close that there move this right click and let's zero that's zeroed out that's zeroed out that's zeroed out let's go back into all four viewports on that one close alt w bring it up for the perspective and now we can see what we're achieving by putting our pivots down in these corners here we're pulling all the different reference materials together well I'm mindful of the time so I think we'll continue this in the next tutorial Catch you then.